And now on Wide World of Sports. It's Ken. Ken's a great Ken's corner. Ken, the bloody male model from Budgie. Ken has a tremendous pull with the female audience. Oh, you must be joking. Yes, and we do it tonight for the three-litre turbo diesel Isuzu D-Max. No matter what the adventure the Isuzu D-Max is born to live. Red leather, yellow leather. Look, now I've stuffed it up. Kenny Sutcliffe, <laughs> good evening to you. <laughs> I don't care. I want one, OK? I want one. <laughs> Red leather, yellow leather. Oh, typical. <laughs> typical of me. Can, can you talk to the people of Isuzu? I need one in Mudgee. <laughs> Ah, oh, dear, oh dear, I need to have a laugh at the end of what's been a, a bit of a fiery week, Kenny. Um, what are we going to do about these players doing the wrong thing, mate? I don't know. It's a game that keeps on giving. It's a, it's a cliche. But, um, look, I, I want to be positive about it because there's more good people than bad. Yeah. And, and there's more good people making good decisions than there are people making bad decisions. Uh, Paul Vaughan, in many ways, has just crucified his career. And for that, I'm sorry for him. But honestly, at the end of the day, you shake your heads and just say, you know what the right thing to do is and you know what the wrong thing to do is. No matter what inconvenience it is, at the end of the day, you just bite your tongue and you do as you're told. Yeah, exactly right, Kenny. It's a, it's a lot bigger than footy at the moment. I mean, we're talking about not only a, an Australian health crisis, we're talking about a global health crisis. Anyway, that's Absolutely. the negative out of the way. Let, let's look ahead to Origin 3. You've covered some great events, um, you know, Wimbledon's and mm. been around the world mm. for Olympic Games. Mate, what about the atmosphere on Wednesday when Newcastle hosts Origin 3? This will be out of this world. I think it's a terrific decision. I think it was a terrific decision to take the game, first game, to, uh, I mean, I know it was an accidental piece of genius that they took it to Townsville, but I thought that was terrific for the game. It, it, you know, OK, there wasn't 100,000 people or 80,000 people there, but they were right into it. And in Newcastle, it will go off, not just at the stadium on the day, but through the days leading up to it. And it will be a terrific thing for the whole area and for rugby league. So... I, I got no problems with it. I think it'll be outstanding. I just hope that Queensland come to the table with something a little bit better than they've been able to produce in the first two. And that's not taking anything away from New South Wales, who I think are, you know, they're obviously the once in a generation type of team right now. But um, I, I think Newcastle, you know, from my point, it's it's thumbs up. I think it's going to be terrific. Certainly will be. And let's hope Ash Barty can get through to the final at Wimbledon. She's up against the 2018 champ, Angelique Kerber, tonight. You talk about, you know, athletes who lead by example. Ash Barty, she's just a breath of fresh air, isn't she? She says all the right things, but she carries herself with a great deal of class. And she's been, look, she's been to hell and back about where, where her career might end up, you know, early in the piece when she was looking at cricket and not in love with the game and all that sort of stuff. But she brings grace and style to the game. And she says all the right things. I just like the way she goes about business. Kerber's terrific opposition for her. She's a little bit nervous. She can be on or off on the day. But I, I think that uh, uh, Ash is well positioned with that beautiful slice backhand to make herself into the final. Yeah. yeah. Well, what did you think of the Wallabies last night, Kenny? I, I, I was expecting a bit more from them, given they had more experience than the French. But, gee, they turned over possession. They just kicked the ball to the opposition. Um, you know, they, they got there in the end. They left it late. But, gee, they, they'd want to improve by, by the time they go around on Tuesday. Can I just say, catch the bloody ball and keep mm. it? You know, uh, I just... I sit there and I think this was a golden opportunity to put on a showpiece. And I know the, the French team wasn't their number one team, but they made it was it was hard to watch. There, there you go. It was hard to watch because you just got so frustrated with the way that the whole thing was panning out. So they got away with it. Honestly, they got away with it. They got away with it. And I hope the next game is a much better spectacle uh, than one last night. I thought it was... By and large, I thought it was pretty disappointing, actually. All right. Well, you're a much-loved figure, right, not only here in Australia, but in Italy and England as well. I'm going to get you to rub one of them the wrong way here, though, Italy or England, by asking you to tip the winner of the Euro final, which will get underway at 5 a.m. on Monday morning. Kenny, who's your exclusive tip? Well, obviously, I have been in England during Wimbledon when the World Cups have been on and Euro's been on, and it's a fantastic atmosphere. And I was in Germany when Australia got dudded by... Italy for the World Cup. So I'm going for England. <laughs> Good luck getting a nice pasta or pizza anywhere in the future. Bad luck, Luigi. <laughs> Good idea, Kenny. We'll catch up next week. 
We will. Bye. See you, mate. Bye-bye.